Hi, this is Anastasia Fields from room 114, and I will be talking about the debate over abortion. This is a short timeline of how the laws of abortion have changed throughout the years. In 1821, Connecticut passed the first law in the United States that was prohibiting abortion. During the Depression, in the 1830s, a number of abortions increased because of the poor economy. Right here, I have a picture of a family from the Depression. They're in very poor conditions. They don't have enough money to support a child. Pat Maggins founded the Society for Human Abortion. In 1969, Jane was an underground system that helped women find safe and affordable illegal abortions. This is a picture of them protesting. Finally, in 1972, the Supreme Court legalized birth control pills. Bill Clinton signed the Abortion Clinic Protection Bill in 1994. Most recently, in 2013, the Susan G. Komen for the Cure announced it will be cutting off funding to affiliates of Planned Parenthood. These are uh, mothers and daughters um, protesting that they stand with Planned Parenthood. They had the laws on abortion. The battle began in Texas. At this time, all abortion was illegal in Texas. When Jane Roe was refused an abortion, she fought. Roe claimed that while her life was not endangered, she could not afford to travel out of the state and had to, the right to terminate her pregnancy in a safe medical environment. Before this time, all illegal abortions were extremely unsafe and unsanitary. The lawsuit was filed against Henry Wade, who was that Dallas County District Attorney. That's what you can fill in right there. In a Texas federal court. The federal court ruled that the law violated the Constitution. Wade appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, which reviewed the case from 1971 to 1972. After a long and hard fight for a mother's right, the Supreme Court named the laws against abortion unconstitutional. This picture I have right here is a political cartoon um, showing the real fight between the people that are on the side of pro-life and the people that are on the side of pro-choice. And as the picture shows, they really butted heads. Even today, the fight still continues. The biggest threat to Roe was in 1992 when the court decided on the Planned Parenthood vs. Casey case. The case was challenging Pennsylvania's restrictions on abortion. Abortion supporters feared that the court would use the case to overrule Roe, but this was not the case. It came down in a 5-4 to four decision, thus keeping Roe safe. Here I have a bunch of pictures of people protesting. Right here, I think this one's very interesting because it involves almost an entire family. There's the dad protesting, there's a nun right here, and even little kids are saying, be pro-life, which is really influencing the younger generations. Right here, this is more on stopping abortion, and right here, keeping abortion legal. Protests on Planned Parenthood occur every single day. There is increasingly hostile protesters intimidating patients and staff at Planned Parenthoods across the country. There's verbal abuse and intimidation. Right here, you have a bunch of protesters um, that they were right near a Planned Parenthood nearby protesting about pro-life. Protesters even walk across the driveway to block cars from driving in. Now Planned Parenthood hands out cards to patients who feel harassed or threatened by protesters. It encourages patients to call the mayor's office and push for new ordinance. Thank you for listening. This is Anastasia signing off.